is estimated that nationwide, five to seven million companion animals enter shelters each year. As many as four million of those are euthanized. And only 10% of the animals received by these shelters have been spayed or neutered. <coughs> She's a German short hair pointer. She was run over by a motorcycle and found on the side of the road. I mean, the sad stories are the stories that come with the animals here. That beautiful Pyrenees. That dog was tied up in the backyard, undernourished, abused. Those are horrible stories. And most of our animals have stories like that. This one. This is a pit bull named Carla. She was on the euthanasia list and was going to be terminated the day we pulled her out of the shelter. Progress is being made, but we got a long way to go. A long way to go, indeed. But the goal of zero homeless animals is not an unobtainable one. 2010 saw the lowest euthanasia rates in Utah in 15 years. And helping to provide solutions for the problem of homeless pets is Friends of Animals, Utah. Our mission is to prevent the proliferation of unwanted animals through rescue, adoption, spay, neuter, education, uh, all those three components to stop unwanted animals from existing and being euthanized. Nestled in the mountains east of Park City, Utah, is the Friends of Animals Rescue and Rehabilitation Ranch. It is a 16,000 square foot facility on 100 acres of land, which can accommodate up to 85 dogs and 60 cats. This is their first stop on a journey that will take these animals from being unwanted and homeless to becoming family members in loving forever homes. If there's a dog down at West Valley that's on the euthanasia list and there's a volunteer there that just knows that dog's awesome, they'll call me or they'll send me an email and say, this dog can't be euthanized. And then we go down and evaluate it. And it's happened a lot this month. We've gotten four that were number one and number two off the youth list. And um, one little brown pit Lincoln was here maybe two days and went right out the door. We've succeeded in making our county and Wasatch County no-kill facilities, um, but however, the shelters in Salt Lake aren't that fortunate. There's just too many dogs. So how hard is that? To well, look at me. <laughs> what would happen if organizations like yours didn't exist? What would happen to... He would be dead. He'd be killed. If we didn't exist, animals like this little boy who we just rescued this morning would uh, be euthanized. Hopes for the future of this rescue ranch include more weeks of kitty camp, programs for senior citizens to bring companionship to the local elderly, even some programs for at-risk youth. Because as folks here say, solving the problem of pet overpopulation can't be solved by adoption alone. It's long been understood that we will not be able to adopt our way out of the pet overpopulation problem. Education, uh, specifically youth education, as well as uh, low or no cost spay or neuter uh, is really the key. There's a good Bowie, good girl. Yeah. Bye, guys. Mwah. And finding that forever home for these pets is the next stop for these animals. Located in the Ritzy Tanger Outlet Mall is Ferberbia, the Friends of Animals Adoption Center. It's an upscale pet store with a twist. All of these animals were once homeless and most about to be euthanized. When she jumps, her, the command is off, off. Okay. and then reward her. Always tell her, so, good so girl. Just down her yeah. Door. Okay. Yeah. Good girl. And today, just minutes after opening their doors, already a success story. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I've been wanting a dog for so long, so this is just it's like my birthday all over again. Adoption just left. How do you feel when you see that? It's a great Tuesday morning. We're so excited. Claire Bell was only here for a week, and we like to start the week off with a bang. If your dogs could talk, what do you think they'd be saying? Well, they would thank us all for caring for him. 
And I know they'd all be appreciative. And happy, they'd be happy. And we, we tell them, the ones that have been here longer, we always tell them that their time will come. Because you don't give up on a dog. No, 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 no. We keep him here until their perfect family comes along. And we see a lot of good. I mean, look how wonderful this was, sending a dog out at 12.30 on a Tuesday morning. What a way to start our week. To me, it's everything, because I love animals so much. This is my passion. This is, this is what I was put on this earth to do. It took me 20 years to figure it out, but I finally got it.